together and meet like this. Amen. 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 After a while, meeting day is going to be over. Amen. 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 The Lord is coming oh, back. He's not going to come back and tell you to get ready. Amen. 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 And he's coming Amen. back already to church. And oh. I thank him tonight. Uh, certainly just for being alive. Yes. Amen. 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 Enjoy it. Uh, having an opportunity to give him praise. Amen. 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 And uh, listening at the testimonies and knowing of a surety that God is still a good God. Amen. Oh, yeah. He is yeah. still yeah. on the throne. Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah. Got it right and yeah. saying that yeah. he never changed. Amen. Yeah. 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 What he done one time yeah. and what he did yeah. way back yeah. then. Yeah. He's still Man, able to do it again. Man, Amen. Man, I thank you. Yeah. Uh, even tonight with that. Uh, we're going to go into the Word tonight. In the, uh, again, in the book of Genesis, I'm just kind of going on with our reading. And only you let me forget it uh, before I deal with it. Uh, mm -hmm. There are two uh, scriptures tonight I want to deal with. And they're both out of the book of Genesis, the first book in the Bible. Uh, the 15th chapter is where our first scripture will come from. And, uh, the other uh, coming out of the uh, 18th chapter. But then, uh, in uh, the 15th chapter of the book of Genesis, verse 1 says, uh, after these things, uh, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, mm -hmm. saying, Fear not, Abram, yeah. I am thy shield and uh, thy exceeding great reward. Yeah. And Abram said, Lord God, what will thou give me, mm -hmm. seeing uh, I go childless, and the steward of my house is uh, the Elysia of Damascus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed. Uh -huh. And lo, one born in my house is mine heir. Mm -hmm. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, this shall oh, okay. <laughs> not be thine heir. Yeah. All right. But he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. Uh -huh. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou shalt uh, be able to number them. Yeah. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. Right. And he believed in the Lord. Amen. And he uh, counted it to him for righteousness. Yes. Uh -huh. He believed in Amen. the Lord. Amen. And he counted it to him for righteousness. Right. In the, right. I'm sorry, I misquoted. It is the uh, 17th chapter of uh, Genesis, not 18, I'm sorry. The 17th chapter of Genesis. <laughs> Verse uh, 15 says, And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarah, thy wife, thou yeah. shalt not call her name Sarah, but Sarah shall her name be. And I will bless her yeah. and uh, give thee a son also of her. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah I will bless her. And she shall be a mother of nations. Mm -hmm. Kings of people shall be of her. And then Abraham fell upon his My face God. and laughed and said in his heart, <laughs> Shall a child be born <laughs> unto him that is a hundred years oh, old? And shall Sarah that is ninety years old mm -hmm. bear? And Abraham said unto God, O oh, that Ishmael, might live before thee. Yeah. And again, God said, Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son in thee. Mm -hmm. and thou shalt call his name Isaac. Mm -hmm. I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant. Yeah. 
and with his seed after him, and as for Ishmael, I have heard yes. thee. Behold, I have Amen. blessed him, right. and will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop right there. Amen. Because I've met the verse that we want to bring your attention to. <coughs> as God uh, talked with Abraham, who is the <coughs> Um, known as the father of faith. Amen. Amen. He is known as the father of faith. Yes. The man who uh, trusted God to the extent Amen. before there was laws. Amen. Amen. That he earned righteousness yes. by trusting in God. Amen. Amen. Many times we seek out the righteousness, and so many times we think that's from doing good works or from yeah. not doing this and not doing that. But here God says to Abraham that, uh, or says to us that Abraham believed in God, yeah. and it was counted for him as righteousness. And yet in both our uh, text we've read tonight as God have made promises to Abraham yeah. and I want you to know God has made promises to us as well yeah. but in both instances rather than Abraham wait on God and trust God with absolution yeah. Amen. Uh, I think the belief that Abraham had in God was the fact that God was able, amen, yeah. to do anything but fail. Yeah. And, and, and certainly, I believe even with us, we have that faith. But when we try to mix and mingle and factor other things in with our faith, amen, yeah. this is where our problem comes in. In other words, let me say it another way. We believe God can do something, and perhaps yeah. he will do it for the people over across the street. But we don't have the faith to believe that God Whatever God said, that God was able then yeah. to bring it to pass. Yeah. But in the process, as circumstances and things began to happen, Abraham had doubts. Amen. Yeah. All right. All right. And I want you to know that it's okay uh, to have doubt. Yeah. Uh, I think that's uh, somewhat healthy and refreshing, but even in the midst of doubt, we've got to obey Amen. the word of God. Amen. Amen. So even where Abraham did not understand God, it was not reason enough for him to not obey God. Amen. Amen. There's a distinct difference in not understanding and not obeying. In other words, when God first speaks to Abraham, God tells Abraham, I want you to get up and leave your father's house leave everything and I want you to go to a land that I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. And right. to me this would certainly mm -hmm. require some faith. Yeah. And Abraham was obedient. Yes. Yes. Left to go where God told him to go. All right. All right. And as he uh, journeyed mm -hmm. under the direction of God. Yes. The Bible says shortly after he had somewhat settled that there was a famine in the land. Yeah. Now for most of us, y'all ain't saying that, but that, that would have been good enough reason right. to go back where we came from. Yeah. Amen. Because, because it's we've got this thing where look like I was doing better. Right. Right. And I wasn't trying to live for God. Yeah. Seemed like stuff came easier. Seemed like I had more friends. Seemed yeah. like I had more fun. Right. Seemed like it was easier to make ends meet and yeah. keep stuff together right. before I got with the Lord. Right. 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 I think that in lack of faith, this had been a good time now for Abraham to turn back. Yeah. And then it was the same set of circumstances when the disciples were on the boat and Jesus told them, let's go to the yeah. other side. And yeah. As they got in the boat and the storm started to rage. And, and you would think that when you're obeying God, yeah. everything is going 
going to be just smooth. All right. All right. All right. Many times, though, as God is testing our faith, as God is trying.